pretty sure we all speak English, most of us. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. But Arceus or Arceus? I don't know, I've heard people pronounce it both ways. I think it's supposed to be Arceus though. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Let's see here, which goober do we want to be? Freaking, uh, character. There's not really any character customization in these games lately. Besides, like, cats and stuff. What is thy name? Well, I could put idiot in there and it probably still technically be correct. Yeah, sure. Soon thou shalt find my, myself in a world strange to thee. World inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Catch. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. So they dumped the professor for Arceus. That's, uh. A little off brand. Usually a professor and star of every Pokemon game. Congratulations, you received a cell phone from God. <laughs> or if it's AT and T or Verizon. wake up won't you somebody's being very mean and rude i try to sleep let me sleep you alive my boy no i was asleep dude gave me quite a shock falling from the sky like that but thank goodness you seem unharmed who are you i think that's what i hit i'd like to ask you the same i mean you fell out of the sky you understand come now who in the world does that what's this goober and here in front of you talking i must say your clothing is unusual you wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Um, probably not. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you can stay? Um, uh, just want to keep saying, I don't know. I don't know if these text options mean anything in this game. Usually they don't in any Pokemon game. They're just there to make you feel like you're doing something. So you don't know anyone here 
and you don't even know where you spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. You are... Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh... Somehow. Okay. I see well. No gentleman would have been a person in such need. Boom. Dispatch. Oh my, I completely forgot I had just caught up these three runaway Pokemon then. You when you tumbled out of the sky. That's always thought breaking to me. Like when I'm reading something and it's like cuts off and it moves to the next parts. Uh, so annoying. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. No, surely not. God only gave us a cell phone and said, here, go to this weird place that I'm not even going to tell you what I'm sending you to. Oh, but do you even know what the Pokemon is? No, totally don't know. They've only been around since I was like two years old. Why, that's a relief. I thought you fell from the sky. It seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures they are, that they are. Oh, yes, and what might be... Uh, I didn't read them. Oh, so you're called... Oh, you asked me what my name was. That's quite a good ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Uh, no, I literally crashed into a coffee table and literally got the nickname because I failed, I screwed up my teeth. So thanks for bringing that up. Uh oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is David Aventon. Like Aventer? Hey, mine. What's up? That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon, such as these three here. And of course. Hey yo. Hey yo. I don't remember what any of my buttons do. Wow. There you go. Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run off from me? So the only part that you missed is this guy was shouting at us while we were sleeping. Yep. Yeah. He, uh, he's being very mean. I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you can help round them up? I beg you. Wait, two, three, wait. Oh, great. So I kind of, yeah. This is kind of what I thought. I thought the graphics were going to be kind of, kind of poopy. They are. Your mic skipping, it doesn't sound completely right. It might be. It very well might be. Let me, uh, sit a little closer here. Does that help? I can also turn it up a little bit, I guess. Uh, let's see. that better hopefully it's a little bit better uh. there's a glowing peeping object over there another cell phone from God because we already got one of those found something that resembles a phone see it's a cell phone from the God of Pokemon it's so weird I wonder what kind of cell reception he gets around here <laughs> it's probably your phone but it's changed shape you feel a strange power emanating from it Message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this art phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. 
that's literally the mission of every game in like the last whatever almost 30 years anything cool I left behind over here what can't jump sweet I can I can bag people as I've won do the call of duty uh thought walk meme yeah, yeah. except there's not a bunch of us in a row doing it Oof. that button don't do nothing that button don't do nothing that centers the camera very annoyingly Sigh, alas, yet another miss. Oh, I'm glad you came to, to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at, at, at this sort of thing, you know? I'd love to give you a, you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. That one's Rowlet. Yes, thank you very much. We we got it. <laughs> One over there, Cyndaquil, obviously. Scuff Charizard because he can't fly, but he has all the exact same stats. Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. I don't think I've ever actually played a game where I use Toshwat. I don't think I'm going to start now either. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. I, I, man. Uh, let me see. Want to change something let's change that a little bit here you are my boy pokeballs don't lose it pokemon to catch them 50 okay seems good Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize, let me be more thorough. Now I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. I'm not sure they actually explained how those actually work in other games, so that's kind of interesting. So they're saying the Pokemon themselves get smaller. Not that the technology of the Pokeball shrinks them. Okay. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see? Throw one of them at a Pokemon and why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Something as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. That uh I have a few things wrong with that explanation, really. Because I'm so used to like how the other games kind of hit or miss on that. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid no, I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awful grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and let them all fly. Blah, 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 blah. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button, which I have no clue which one that is because I usually play on the play my PlayStation or this mouse and keyboard. Okay. The bottom right trigger. Gotcha. Brown with the right stick. Aim carefully. Blah, blah, blah. Release the button to throw. Thanks. Uh. 
Hush bot. We don't want to. I think I might take the relic. This relic. Uh, Bob form is freaking sick in this game. I wonder if I had time, I could actually run around and catch more than one. Yes, yes, I caught the Pokemon. You don't seem to be fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Of course not. Oh, you gotta catch them all anyway. Okay. Oh, look, I work in school. Incredible. Yeah. You know, many people will fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catching them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up this sharpish. Uh, okay. Weird words. Uh, let's go. Come here, you little jerk. Really? Of course. Just couldn't make this easy, could you? Gotta make everything difficult. Of course. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the villages to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village, almost as if they knew you'd come, you'd come calling. But I must say, Crash, I was thinking back by how well you used the Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason for you. Uh, there's a reason you're, you appeared in... Uh, I'm just like having issues, I guess. Having a mental breakdown while I'm reading. See, I have a dream to compile the region's first complete record of this Pokemon. Oh, uh, we in the field. Well, you want me to do a Pokedex? Yes, that's obvious thing. As always, and more dialogue. We'll seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all of those Pokemon. Caught. Situation right with teamwork. Kukuki. That depends on how you define teamwork. Yes. You're gonna make this do it anyway, right? Alright, first things first. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out the lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal. And all that. Okay. Hello. Kind of reminds me of Gen 7 when you get a Cosmog. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was a great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Yeah, they just don't like random people running around, do they? This way, please? No. I'm going to go the other way. Okay, I didn't get a chance to read that. 
Nala Avenue. It was built seriously two years ago. And since a little bit of local Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. This is a little too fast, actually. Like, I read pretty fast, but if I'm going to, like, say it, it's got to be slowed down. Like, a little bit. Oh, botheration. I've almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Let's just past the bridge here. Then to the left. The wallflower is called. Oh. The phone is beeping. Somehow it's, it seems to show where you need to go next. Oh, so that's how they're going to deal with stuff in this game? It's magic. Gates. Arm. Okay, that that's mildly annoying. The map set up. Door. Keep it. I always love like looking for random crap in Pokemon games, but I don't know exactly how that's handled in this one. And I won't lie either. Like a lot of people are complaining the graphics might be a little bad. They are a little bad. Not terrible, but it doesn't look great on like a, a bigger TV probably. Okay, I got myself stuck already. Here we go. You. Are you an old woman or an old man? I can't tell. Your face is like pixelated. Well, now, aren't you awful suspicious? Wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have see. Outsiders, move along. You got enough seats for that ball sack hanging from your face. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be meant to meet in those flimsy clothes. The guard let you through. You must have ties to somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Levinson. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thunder Shock not long ago and had to be taken to my bed. The professor, well, I wonder how long he'll last. Yeah, I hear Thunder Shock can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Fortunately, it is just as Akari says, I am a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Oh. It's like that. I wasn't paying attention to the name. It's like that, that text doesn't seem to fit. <laughs> Professor. But everything will be quite all right now. Crash here. Crash here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Okay. You're going to point him to the survey corpse. Survey corpse. I know. You can just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine. Celine. I'm pretty sure it's Celine's permission. I'll allow it. Oh. And then we got another incredibly abrupt yelling person. 
Thank you. Assuming the individual cannot contribute to the Survey Corps, that is, I am the captain of Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Celine. That's, that's a really weird name. I don't know why. It just seems weird because I don't meet a lot of people with that name. Which is funny because I've been to like all the states in the U.S. and parts of Canada. Professor Leventon has told me how you help secure his Pokemon when they slip out of his... Can we, can we skip the exposition, please? Too much talking. Not enough running around kitchen. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. I mean, his hat is pretty distracting. Okay, his hat's very distracting. It's got like a, a poof ball and like all kinds of weird stuff going on. Well, no matter, the rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi. You please, but make it three today. I don't think I've ever actually had mochi. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Professor Lavington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Oh, well, you know, of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the Space Time Rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself with only the facts. Now, you're, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Isui region. That there are in the grass, in the forest, by water, or wherever they like. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's continue. Too much talking. sure it would take like an hour to read most of this stuff and half of it not important to people that have played the game before okay she's surprised we actually caught three pokemon let's see here he's very xenophobic which means he doesn't like people that are from out of town which is I mean it's pretty understandable I mean you have random people showing up in your town you probably think it's kind of weird too your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi you know slow progress on the that pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough now we'll have your fill crash <laughs> You make it into the galaxy team you'll never have to worry about a meal again the team provides for all members needs even if said members fell out of the sky okay it's quite delicious quite delicious indeed yes the food was lovely but more importantly you do remember that crash has a trial to pass to join the survey corps, don't you? Not to worry. I have complete complete confidence in Crash's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Crash, was it? For tonight at least. We will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Yay. Thanks. I guess. Don't know what's going on still. Everybody keeps talking.
really got into much gameplay except for like moving around it's streaming for like 30 minutes and still reading text must be very enjoyable to watch Trying to figure out the custom P2 map. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know much about P2. I haven't played it yet, but I did buy it, and then it just rotted on my Steam account for a while. Rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Mysteries are fun, unless they're the kind that get you slapped across the face. Oh, mm -hmm. 